Well, we got another package. All right, I'll go check it out. Oh, good doggy. Welcome back, everybody, to another unboxing or in this case, unbagging video. This one is from Varus de Leica. You can uh, check them out on, let me just focus this a little bit better, on uh, verostaleka.com. They're out of Finland and they ship internationally. Uh, check out their website for the different shipping methods. They do offer specials, so feel free to check them out. And these items actually were just uh, put on their website kind of recently, so you might want to grab these while you can. So, uh, I've already taken the chance at uh, opening the top of the bag, so don't rip it too badly, because I do like the image on here. And we'll just, uh, let's see, this time it didn't actually come with a manifest. Grab here and see what we got. So, yeah, in the past I've had uh, manifest come on the outside. So here's something neat that you don't see every day. This is called the Beninese Anti-Poaching BDU Jacket. It's a surplus. And this is supposed to be a size 108. There it is. It looks like it's uh, been made in Souframa, France. Even more interesting. And as you can see, it's got an interesting pattern on it. It's actually upside down pattern the way they did it. But the way uh, when it's upside down, I guess it does look kind of camouflage. So you got a lion head and a paw. And I guess a tail maybe? Or sort of mustache or dinosaur? I don't know. But let's quickly go through this. What we got here, we got our collar. Interesting. Zipper goes right up to the top. And it's kind of a almost like a short neck collar. So it doesn't actually fold down, I don't think. There is a button here to cinch something. Hmm. Ah, there it is. I couldn't see the buttonhole. There it is. And this thing is totally new, feels like. And plasticized zipper, but it's pretty smooth. And hooks, zipper that has no markings on it that I can see. Okay, at the bottom hem, we do have drawstrings. On both sides. Pocket wise, well, shoulders real quick. Button down. Top pockets, three snaps with the textured uh, finish on them. And look at that. Multiple lockdown positions for different uh, expansion settings. How much you stuff these with gear or whatever. Same on the other side. So we're symmetrical so far. Bottom pockets at the hip, same thing, with multiple snap points, same on the other side, so we are symmetrical. Uh, let's see, anything on the armpits, do not look vented. On the inside, looks like we have an inner pocket on that side, camo pattern, sewn on, and on the other side, there is no pocket. So we have one inner pocket on this side. Okay, let's quickly flip around to the back. Looks like there's something going on here, right here in the middle. So there is a button back here. Maybe the button on... Hmm, I'm not sure. Something. Sleeve. Button on the sleeve, so I guess we can roll it up there. The cuffs have this one button here. I can feel two more buttons, so we could definitely got some cheater points here to tighten up against bugs and whatever. That is really narrow, but that would actually fit me. 
So that is a pretty neat feature too. I thought of that. Uh, let's just double check the other sleeve. It does have a button up there too, so if you roll your sleeve up, you can pin that up there. One more look at the bottom hem, just to make sure. Again, we got drawstrings. So. It is a pretty, feels like at least a water repellent, if not uh, material. So, let's see if there's any other labels on the inside besides the Saframa Saf 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 France. I don't see any laundry care or anything. So. Let's move along to the next item real quick. Looks like we got matching Beninese anti poaching cargo pants. These should be a size 104. So, right off, I can see we got some sort of buckles here for tightening. Nice. So instead of some of the western style, which put them under here, these are actually right underneath the belt loops. So starting at the front, it's button fly. Inner hemming. So we've got two of those tightening strap buckle dilios. Okay, one uh, belt loop in the middle. Two on the kind of lower back. Two more on the hip and two on the front. Pockets slash but triple steps, single point. Same on the other side. Let's check the other side real quick. Single snap button uh, pocket on the rear. And another on the left side, so symmetrical there. We look down the leg, cargo pocket down the side, uh, large but two snaps. And I'm suspecting similar on the other side, yes. We work our way down to the, the I don't think we have reinforced knees. And we have drawstrings on the lower cuffs on the pant leg. So for any labels on the inside real quick. Uh, let's see the inside snaps on the pockets there. Hmm. Okay. Okay, there's our 104. But uh, no real manufacturer anything else. So it's been either scrubbed off. Or it was never put on. Kind of keeps it sterile, I guess. Alright, so let's keep moving deeper into the package here. Let's see, let's do this one first. This will be the matching from Benin, the country of Benin, a Beninese. Uh, BDU cap should be a size 58, so it's baseball style, typical brim, but it's got that same camel pattern and stretchy back. So it helps with one size fits all, I guess. Label size has been overwritten because I guess they remeasured it at Vero Stileka. And the Sopraframa France label. A little bit of mesh in the front here, and you can see how that's actually attached there. Vent, vent holes at the top and smooth top, so you won't get bumped on the noggin that way. That's nice. So again, that completes the set for the Beninese anti-poaching jacket, pants, and cap. So something a little different here. Romanian field shirt in mosaic camo. And this is supposed to be size 41 2. And this is new. Look, cardboard under the collar. Ooh, label Confecti Strihai. So, kind of a dress shirt collar. Buttons. Kind of a dark olive green. Pattern right there, pretty neat. Pockets, single button in the middle. Let's see if I can 
this and this. These are pretty tight uh, button fit right there. I'm trying to see if there's any other care labels on the inside real quick. No pockets on the hip area, just upper pockets. Looking at the shoulders, we are both buttoned on the shoulders. Elbows up, there is a button on the sleeve for rolling up. And the cuffs have single button hole there, single button at the cuff. Real simple design. Uh, let's see, let's see if we can get the last of these buttons off here so I can look on the inside fully. No, no other label, but we do have an internal pocket on this side. Single button there with this style of loop over. See what we got on this side. Nothing, nothing on this side. So that's interesting the way they designed that. All right, let's look at the back here. No extra buttons on the back. Again, cardboard under the collar. Nope, that's about it. Again, that's a Romanian mosaic camo field shirt. I should have one more item here that completes it. So again, let's see, there's Stileka. This is, uh, let's see, Finnish Army Service Belt, brown, size 115, a rubber band from Finland. Very cool. Look at that. Giant rubber band. I could use that for something too. Very nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh yeah, that's a metal buckle. Boot catch. You can see the stitching. How thick that is. And the whole pattern. So again, Finnish Army service belt. I'll recap the other items going backwards. Romanian field shirt, mosaic camo, Beninese, anti-poaching BDU cap, cargo pants, and BDU jacket. So again, these all came from verostaleka.com. They are on the website right now. Get them while they last. And uh, feel free to check out other unboxing, unbagging videos in the playlist. We also do show and tell on specific items, as well as curios for the curious videos on more artsy style objects. So feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.